Sandy, but I know we can't have flamingos around here, but I, generally speaking, the pink ones are the spoonbills, I believe. Well, and they've got two types at the Jacksonville Zoo, right? Yes. They've got the ones in the African loop and then uh, Florida? Florida, just outside of the Florida uh, little area there. Hey, we've got Tropical Storm Lee. It's a strong tropical storm right now. And just looking at the imagery on satellite, you can see the spin. You can see there is quite a bit of symmetry already starting to work its way uh, into this system. And it has a, an environment that it's going to be traveling in in the next few days that is very conducive for development. So rapid intensification is expected with this storm. Now there's really not a whole lot of model disagreement in where this is headed through the weekend. It's just after, of course, when and where does it make that turn to the north? So right now this cone looks a bit tr uh, spooky. I know Florida, but we are going to stay confident that it is going to eventually recurve and that would happen later Monday, Tuesday and into Wednesday, the time frame there. Uh, so leading into mid next week, we should be waving goodbye to Lee as a very powerful hurricane. Uh, nonetheless, expected to send significant swell and dangerous life threatening rip currents our way and for the east coast of the United States. So after it passes Jacksonville to the north, it really is kind of up to question uh, for how close it stays to the east coast of the United States. So right now, very good agreement in the Euro and the GFS are two long range computer models that we really keep an eye on closely and it just begins to make that curve slowing down Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and then pulling up Wednesday and into Thursday away from us. Once we get it to our latitude, really we should be okay as it continues the steering currents pull it up to the north even further. So for now, the school day forecast includes more humidity, more heat but bluer skies this afternoon. So 72 as you're at the bus stop this morning, 94 as you're headed home with warm breezes out of the west. Yesterday morning we were talking about tying a record morning low of 63 degrees. This afternoon, uh, this afternoon will be in the 90s, but tomorrow afternoon will be near a record afternoon high of 97 degrees. So how about that for a weather whiplash? Fake fall really got us early this week, but we are full summertime mode back today, tomorrow, Friday. Another front blows in Friday brings us a dose of showers and storms late in the day and into the evening and then throughout the weekend they'll be popping up, especially on Saturday.